All right, guys, so look, we're gonna get into the video here in a second. I know I don't really have any subscribers anyway, so nobody's that impatient for it anyway. Doesn't matter. We're gonna get into the video here in a second, but I just wanted to address this. I mentioned previously that I was gonna put out a two-part series on Krav Maga, and I've only put out one part, and then I put two uh, different videos up and said that that was gonna be on hold. Uh, I put that on Instagram and TikTok and everything. Um, yeah, so the reason that that video is on hold is I'm uh, rethinking how I want to go about doing it. I was going to uh, record myself talking as a voiceover and lay it over just some like miscellaneous training footage so y'all could hear my opinions about it because that's really what that video was about. But the thing is, is no one's going to watch that video. It's boring as shit. You're just listening to me talk and drone on for fucking eight minutes or however long. Not worth it. I don't want to do that to y'all. So, what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to show y'all what was valuable about Krav Maga, which primarily was the focus on fitness and the focus on brutality, um, the focus on de-escalation and escaping, and the, um, the scenario training. And the scenario training is going to be a big, big part of me showing that, and through the scenario training, you're going to get to see some of the other skills come into play. Um, so, I've been planning some scenarios to put some of my friends through. Um, I'm going to have someone plot out some scenarios for me, because obviously we can't know what the scenario is going into it, or it would ruin it. Um, but yeah, you guys will see. It'll be a good time. Anyway, enjoy the EDC update video. I'll explain that here in a second. Um, so I know I did an EDC update for 2023 not that long ago, but stuff has changed. I've got a new job now, I can carry at work again, so I'm no longer carrying the MDV Plus One, I'm just gonna put it out there. It still sits around, um, it's still, I still have one of the sheaths set up for it on my battle belt, and I was running some tests with the battle belt, I think y'all probably saw that, I already posted it, um, but it's, a. Uh, it's more for that. Um, it's a good backup to a firearm, but, like, man, it's just too many things to carry. Like, I already carry this all the time, the GVDV folding knife that I've shown plenty of times before. Extremis wallet I've shown plenty of times before. Uh, blue alpha gear belt that I've shown plenty of times before. I'll just go ahead and show this one more time. This is what you want in a good... EDC belt is, you want it to be able to do that. You want it to retain its shape on its own. Anyway, um, same key setup, nothing special there. That's all pretty much the same. Um, shit. Not sure where it went. Oh, here it is. Where my necklace that's, uh, the urn. I think I've talked about that in a video before. Uh, i got a friend's ashes in here. Nice little reminder of him. You know, just a positive thing for me. Um, now we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of the guns. All right. So, you know, I mentioned previously I had a daytime and a nighttime carry gun. I've kind of done away with that. Um, because I'm carrying all the time again, it's much more convenient to just carry one thing all the time. So, the SIG P365, baby. But... I now have this Wilson Combat grip, grip Module on it, and it's actually the grip module for the XL, but it still fits on the standard, and it just, it fills out my hands so much more nicely than the uh, the original grip, even with the 12 round like, extension in it. This just, like, it just fills it out so much more. I haven't gotten to shoot it yet, because I only put it on a couple days ago, and I haven't been to the range yet, but I cannot wait to shoot it, and rest assured, when I do, y'all are going to be seeing it. I should, I already safety check this, but I'll go ahead and do it on camera. There's that. There's that. There's that. It's good to go. All right, anyway. Um, yeah, it just fills out the grip so nicely. It allows it to, you know, actually take the magazine's flush fit, which I had a problem with getting sweat and water and things on those magazines and having them rust. I'd actually had to replace several magazines already, so... This is going to require, there's going to have a few less gaps for that to happen, which is huge. It allows for easier draws. I've already tried that. Like, this is just all around infinitely better. Infinitely better. I can tell it's going to shoot better. I can't wait to shoot it. 
I know I said that already. I'm I'm just very excited about this. It's like the best thing that's happened to me all week is this Wilson Combat Group one here. Um, <laughs> take that for what you will. Um, still same cheap little pocket holster. Although now I'm actually in clothes that I would pocket carry in. Like I said, you know, on my days off sometimes don't feel like, you know, maybe I just worked out and I don't feel like changing before I go to grab some food or maybe I, uh, you know, am gonna leave the house for like 30 seconds to like fucking, I don't know, go down to the gas station and grab a soda or some chips or whatever the case may be. In that case, I'm gonna be just throwing this in here. I'm just walk around like this. I recently ran a test um, using this carry method against someone trying to do, um, a couple different gun grabs, um, because I was worried about that scenario, but it actually held up pretty, really, pretty well to that. And, as you can see, I can still make a quick draw with it. It's not ideal, but, I mean, you know, pocket carry never is. It's just convenient. And I, I don't, like, if I'm going out all day, I'm not pocket carry, I'm carrying appendix. Um, next up, I got my, um, oh god, this is the Shogun. I got my Shogun, um, from Elias Concealment. Uh, I did actually put the original attachments back on it. I know I said before I thought the soft loops were the best ones, but with this holster specifically, they were creating a little bit of a printing problem, which is weird, but they were. Um, so, now, this is what's on me almost every day. 13 rounds in there. I'm not worried about it, bro. It's got this little Velcro on the back. Like I said before, there was a foam wedge on it, but not anymore, but that's okay. Fun times. I could really even carry this. Because it hooks onto the lining of my pants, but eh, it's not consistent enough for me to really feel comfortable with it um, in these pants, whereas this is. But if I'm wearing a belt, like my blue alpha gear belt that I just showed, this is on it. Now, next up. Block 19. Previously, this was like my nighttime carry gun. Um, I'm about to get this done up. Uh, cause I'm just getting sick of just having a stock Glock 19. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do anything crazy to it. Uh, I'm gonna get some, you know, some stippling, you know, some, uh, here, I'm gonna get some stippling up here, I'm gonna get some stippling all over the grip, I'm gonna get a little undercut done right here, uh, I'll probably recess this magwell a little bit, maybe, I mean, no, not magwell, I mean, uh, mag release, uh, although also actually probably flare out this magwell just a little bit more. Um, than what it, than what you know the Gen 5 comes with. Um, what else? Oh, I'm gonna switch out the uh, slide release for the uh, 34 extended one, so I can just get a little bit better. Of a, oh wait, I'll do the. Anyway, <laughs> I enjoy being a dick. Anyway, um. Yeah, the slide release. It just make it a little bit easier on the, a little bit faster on the, you know, reload times and everything. And then I'm going to get some uh, Trijicon uh, Suppressor Height Night Sights. And I'm actually, I think I am going to finally put an optic on this thing. Um, I'm going to get a little base plate extension for it. I might even put a comp on it. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go like the whole nine yards and make this like a dedicated, you know, bedside type of gun. However, I may leave the comp off because I kind of still want to be able to carry it. I think I'll probably leave the comp off and then just, I think that's what I'll do. Um, anyway, this is still the, uh, the Saya, if I am going to carry it, that's what it's being carried in. Um, situations where I would still carry this. If I go out of town, I don't, I don't want to bring both, man. It's just like, that's too much work, bro. I'm just going to bring this. Just gonna carry this while I'm out of town and have it as my nightstand gun. And just do both. It'll still do. It'll still do, still do both fine. There we go. Jesus. Da, 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 da. 
anyway, still got the soft loops on here. It didn't create a printing problem with this holster, so, you know, whatever. Um, another situation where I might carry, if I'm going somewhere that I could see, you know, like, something could happen. Um, like, if I'm going into a bad neighborhood, I'm more likely to have this. If I'm going out at night and I know it's going to be dark, like there won't be any street lights where I'm going to be, then I might bring this. And the other one would be... Um, like, I went to see John Wick 4, which I might do a review of that movie. Anyway, uh, I went to see John Wick 4 the other day. If I'm going in a movie theater, the bigger gun with a light on it is the one I'm taking, not the smaller gun without a light. However, with this new grip on here, man, mm, fills out my hand so feel so well. I don't feel undergunned with this in. I felt a little undergunned with this before. I do not now. I feel good with this in my hand now. And, uh, you know what, I haven't done this in a while, so we'll go ahead and hit pose here. Good times. Alright, well, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Have a good one.